Got it. Hello guys. Uh, welcome back to Hand and Work, my channel. And now today is going to show you guys um, how to polish wood. So this is actually a countertop made out of NDF. Um, if you, some of you guys don't know what it is, it's, it's that. NDF. And um, what, I, what I did here, I'm using conversion varnish uh, product. Um, I did three coats of black paint. And then I did two coats of uh, clear coat, uh, shine, shiny one. Um, and now I'm gonna do, I'm doing the polishing. So after, after doing the paint and the clear coat, you can wait 24 hours, you can do it. I did it in 24 hours after the last coat of clear coat. And um, I'm using <clears throat> this product here. I mean, they're not paying me for showing them the, the product, but it's a gold pro. I'm using 1,000, 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit, and 3,000 grit uh, to make it look like this it's gonna be looking like this so once you do the, the 1000 with the sander you do the 1000 to make it completely flat so you don't see any shiny from the clear coat uh, you do the 2000 and uh once you do the 2000 you go with the 3000 you can use a spray bottle i didn't have one <clears throat> i use a uh a cheaper version <laughs> make a hole on the bottle <laughs> and just spray some water and do the 3000, it's gonna be muddy, but then you're gonna clean it up with some towel or whatever. And then once you have it like this, completely flat and smooth, you're gonna start doing the polishing. I'm using, and I recommend it, they're not paying either, but I'm recommended the Chicago Electric from Harbor Freight, which is strong, it's a hard tool, it works fine. I mean, if you wanna do it, for everyday use, I don't know if it'll last, but for me, it works perfect. So um, this is Hubble Fry product. I bought this in Hubble Fry. This is the rough. Uh, this is what they have. The uh, the professional, the professional guys that do uh, polishing for for living. They use different brand, but I I'm doing it with this, and I, you will see the results. The results, they're 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 gonna be nice. So I'm using, they have this orange for the first step. They have the blue one for the second step and they have the black one for the third step. Um, they, uh, I bought this one. Uh, the Ultra Cal Compound is meteor um, for the orange. So it's gonna be like this. This for the orange. The Fine Cut Cleaner for the blue one. This is Hubble Freight product, remember? So uh, the professional uh, body shop stores, they have different colors for the first, second, and third step. And I bought these on the, this is a body shop store. It's a 3M product, it looks, it works perfect. Uh, you can see in the picture, they have a different, uh, that's the finished one actually for them. Uh, it's a blue one, kind of corrugated, um, I don't know. But this is a product to use for the, for the third step, the finished step, but I'm using, the black one from Harbor Freight with this compound because I, I didn't buy a, the product for that. I'm using the blue one for the, with, the, with the black one. So um, once you do the 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 grit with some water on it, uh, you gotta you gotta make sure you got your your wood. In this case, it's MDF. You gotta make sure you have it sealed. So you don't have to spray a lot. You don't have to be crazy with it, but. Just a few drops, it'll make the sander uh, not getting too hot or burning into the clear coat. And it's gonna make it uh, runs nice and smooth. So uh, after you do that, you do this. You put a few drops on it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. If you don't know how to do it. Uh, don't be afraid with that. That's I mean, once you're sanding, you think you're gonna take your, your all your clear coat out of it because you're gonna be a lot of dust. Don't be afraid. That's the way it is. You have to make it flat, 1,000. 
2000 is gonna be dusty. It's gonna get wide. You think you're you're going you're running inside the, the clear cup, but it's not. That's the way it is. That's why you put two coats. You can put three coats if you want to make it thicker. Uh, the clear coat thicker, so you can work more. Uh, have more confidence on your work. Um, and uh, after that, just the polishing. I did this already. I put a tape on it so I don't have a mismatch, so I know where it is. And you cannot go on the big spaces because the compound, these compounds that you use for polishing, they get dry. And if you're not gonna have time to go all the way like, like water. So I did a few uh, pieces at a time. This is like 24 by 24 piece. I put a tape on it. Tape was here. You can you can come over here and you can see the difference on the the 3000 grit sanding and the polishing side. You can see the difference. So that's what you guys are gonna have with us. Uh, so you don't need to go to expensive on tools to do those to do this. And uh, for this, I use this tool. I hope Hubbard Frey can pay me for this. <laughs> I bought this at Hubbard Frey for 30 something, almost 40 bucks. And it works perfect. This is air. <coughs> it works perfect for me. I did all this with that. And it works awesome. Awesome, no complaints. So um, what you have to make sure for polishing is that you don't have a sharp edge because when you're sanding, the sander is gonna cut into that sharp edge and it's gonna reveal the the primer or it's gonna cut into the clear coat and it's gonna look like like what happened here. See here? It's gonna look like that. Uh, that's a little uh, fine edge here that is not completely sanded. When I was sanding it, it burned into the edge and it revealed out the primer. So you don't want that. You want to have it all smooth, always break the edge, knock down the edges. So when the polishing goes and the sander goes, it's not going to touch right the edges. So here I did, I sand, don't do a sander here. I sand it by hand, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Not a big deal. It's not that hard. You can do it guys. And uh, here, I did I did it with a with the other with the sander just just sander down here sander and polishing you can use that the small pot the small uh, buffering I show you air one I buffer all this and no problem this is the finish you're gonna have can you see here there's a little burn here in the corner too I have to fix that out that's why you don't want anything sharp okay okay so let's guy uh, start doing. Um, the polishing on this side, the tape was here, but I move it a little, like two inches far from the original position that it was before, because I wanna, I don't wanna have, I don't wanna have an overlap of the, you see that shadow of the non-polished, because it's the polishing, when you're polishing on, on top of the tape, you're not gonna get right on the edge. So I, that's why I moved it more so I can cover whatever uh, it wasn't taken by the publisher. So I wanna cover this. You can do it guys, but maybe you don't need to, but I wanna cover it cause it's gonna be muddy. And uh, I wanna just cover this side up. Okay. Just to avoid splashing too much on that side. Uh, you don't need to, but it's not that bad. You can do it. So I'm gonna start doing the polishing, orange one for the first step, ready to go. Always check your compound, that's what it said, check well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, check well always, because it's good. So you put some, some people in other videos, I watch a lot of videos, it's the first time I do this. Uh, they put four drops, but I wanted to slide out. Um, actually, before starting, I'm gonna put another tape over here. <coughs> On this side here, I'm gonna put a tape. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not gonna polish the side because it's already finished. <laughs> so I'm gonna start doing only this size, like 24 by 24, it's 100. Um, I don't know how big is it, but I'm just divided in three. So you can do smaller if you want. Just put, just uh, spread the compound like that. Try to make it uh, wet. Then for the first one on this on this tool specifically, you have a digital. Just start it, start in zero. Always start on top of the piece. Don't start over here and then go straight with the wood because it's gonna cut into the clear coat. So let the tool there. You don't have to make any pressure. It'll do it. It's kind of it's not too heavy, but it's okay. I will do ten. You select here ten for the first. And you have to go trying to cover in all the area. Don't try to make any pressure on it because it's gonna it's gonna push you out. So try to cover all the area. So go back again. If you see it's getting dry, stop, put more compound and start again because it's gonna push you out you see that okay because it's dry it start shaking so you can put more i want to do a little bit more you don't have to spend an hour there just like 10 minutes but i wanted to go at least twice rounds all over okay just start it on top stop on top go again then right to the edge on top, don't make any pressure. It'll do the job by itself. If you start doing pressure, it's gonna get crazy. You're gonna have a kick out, a kick back. So, okay. So that's the rough cast. That's all it needs. Okay. That's what it happened. So, ready for the second step. Five minutes, maybe? Yeah, that's not bad. That's all you need. Just got a Velcro, strong Velcro on it. Just put it over there with the blue one in place. You don't need to clean that off because if you start cleaning it because it's dry, you start doing a little uh, worms. I can't say worms, but it's not warm, but it's warm shape on the compound. So you don't need to clean it because you're gonna put more. So this is the second one for the blue. It's a fine cut cleaner. It's gonna cut the, the swirl from, from the orange one. Yeah, don't, don't put, I mean, some people do, I don't like it to put the, the compound straight to the, to, the, to the wood or to your piece. Because like this, you can spread it better. So I'm gonna do with the blue one, I'm gonna do, I, I started on 10 on the first step. I'm gonna do uh, 20 on this one. Start it, to start 10, and then go 20. And you're gonna do the same. It works perfect. You don't need to make any pressure. Machine will it'll do the job. No problem. And you see the shiny part coming out. Coming up on the piece. Just like that. Magic. That's the way it is. Just try to cover all the area. Okay. And that's it. I'm gonna do the step three now. Getting dry. Just stop it right on top. Don't go like this, it's gonna kick you out. So I'm done with the second step. I'm doing the third step now. You don't need to clean this. I mean, I don't clean it. This is gonna be full of compound anyway. Well, there's no way to clean it. I don't know if you can watch it, I don't know. This is like $8 each, not too expensive. 
The professional ones are expensive. This one, no. And it does the same job. I mean, if you don't want to do body shop or you can polish your car with this probably, but I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. So this is the first, I did some tests before this video, of course, but the first time I do something like this big, I'm gonna go 30, but just, just start it and go 10 first and then start increasing, okay? I can feel it's getting dry, so I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna put more, okay? Because I wanna do a little bit more. I don't want it to, on the finish pass, I don't want it to shake on me. But I can make a mark. So it's the same. On top of that, you start on top, you start from the beginning, 10, and then start increasing to 30. Stop it right there. And that's it, Fox. I'm gonna give it a little clean so you guys can see the difference again. You can do, there is a, how about Friday they have a, a Migiar, Migiar, whatever you call it, a product for, it says, use at the time to, to, to deliver to the customer. So that's kind of a, shiny stuff maybe or protection they have some like five or six kind of products for polishing it's dirty let me use a new, new one so you guys can see you can see it clean okay what is this oh, get dirty well i should clean it before i can use uh, you can use a buffering uh, I mean, my, my hand is gonna be kind of hard, but if you don't like it, you can polish it again. But that, that's, those lines, that's, uh, it's uh, dirt from the compound. So you gotta polish it. Actually, I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna do another pass on this, because I don't like it. Maybe it's dirt, maybe. It's uh, let's do another pass. Now it's clean. It should slide better. Okay, start. Now it's clean. Yeah, that's yeah. Those are the line of the towel. But now it's more more clean. You can do this. Uh, this is dirty. I gotta. You see the difference now? That's the finish pass, guys. And I'm very happy with this process. Okay, it's dirt down there. I can take it out with the towel. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. 
So I hope you guys like the like the video of the polishing on conversion varnish uh, products and uh, Hubble Fry tools. Not that bad. Uh, you can probably do it on polyurethane, uh, high gloss polyurethane. Uh, it takes a little longer to dry out, complete. Conversion varnish is real fast. It dries in one hour. So you can do another coat one hour and then you can do another coat. Um, it's real fast. It speed up the process. And uh, that's what it looks like. You can do it yourself. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, click the like button and subscribe for more videos and watch you. See you guys around. Thank you guys.